When you're working with vector graphics, you're going to be using the pen tool almost exclusively. So let's begin with that. The pen tool is in your toolbar above the T or the type tool, and we're going to set the tool controls to be shape with the drop down, and then set the fill to none, which is this box with the red line in it. Choose a color for the stroke that will show up against the background you're working with, and then set the width of the stroke to one or two points. The next drop down is the style of the stroke, so the line that we're creating. This is new in CS6, and I love this option because you can choose it to be a solid line or dotted lines, and we'll get into how to do all that fun stuff. To begin a vector shape, you have to plot the anchor point. So if you click once with your pen, you'll notice a little square appears. That is an anchor point. And if you click once somewhere else on the canvas, it creates a second anchor point. The line between them is known as the path, and that is the line that we're referring to most of the time. This is the path. If you click and continue to click around your canvas, you'll have this dot to dot effect and you can create an open line by clicking wherever you care to and not coming back to the beginning. So an open line, the beginning and the end don't touch. A closed line or a closed path is when you click to close the path by clicking on the very first anchor point that you set. When you hover over this anchor point with your pen, you should see a little O or circle symbol pop up by your pen tool, and that means with this click you will close that path, and you'll notice those anchor points have disappeared. To adjust an anchor point that you've set, we need to get what's called the direct selection tool. The other set of tools you'll be using for vector graphics is below the T, and you should see a black arrow, which is the path selection tool. This path selection tool will allow you to click on a path that has been created, and it will make it active. When those little points are visible, that is an active path. You can move the entire path with this tool, but to affect a specific point, you need the white direct selection tool. With that tool selected, you can click on a single point and move it. Now I want to show you something. You'll notice when I clicked and moved, everything moved. That's because all of these points are currently active because I had chosen the entire object with my other tool. To choose only one of these, you can click outside of the area of that particular point and drag, and when you let go, just that one point will be active, and you can click and move it and relocate it. Under the pen tool, you have some pen modification tools. Now, we're going to skip the freeform pen tool. This works just like a drawing tool. You don't have to click. You can just click and drag and freeform draw. But we're going to go right to the add an anchor point and delete an anchor point. Choose the add an anchor point. When you hover over a path that's already been created, you'll see a little plus sign. That means you can click to add a new anchor point. Now, here's the secret though. These tools, I don't even know why they put them on the toolbar because you'll almost never come over and actually grab these directly. The reason being, if you change your tool back to the pen tool, you'll notice that when you hover over a path, you actually get that same option. You can click and add a new point just from hovering over the path with your normal pen tool. If you hover over an anchor point that already exists and click on it, it will delete it, which is the other tool that was in here. So I know I showed you these, but now just forget that they're there <laughs> and know that if you hover over a path and click, you can add, and if you hover over a point and click, you can take it away. The other tool in here you do want to know about is your convert point tool, which is at the bottom of the pen tools. This particular tool, when you hover over a point, will turn your cursor into an upside down V. There's two types of points. There's corners and then there's curves. And this particular one is obviously a corner. It comes together from two straight lines. To change it into a curved or smooth corner, you click on that particular point and drag. 
you'll notice that you've created these couple little lines with balls on them. These are called Bezier handles and these two are what controls the amount of curve on this path. Because this is a vector object, we're not actually putting down pixels because a pixel would have to stay put and to change a pixel we'd have to erase it and go back. But this is a vector line, so this dark stroke is going to follow wherever the path goes and I can click on one of these beziers and move it around with my convert point tool. This tool also works in reverse. If you have a curved line, you can click on it and change it back into a corner line. Now let's go back to just the regular pen tool. The convert tool also is one that doesn't really need to be here. I'm going to show you just a couple of key commands that I would highly recommend trying out. There should be a little list of key commands on the website you can print out a bit by your computer to help you out and remember how to do this but with your regular pen tool selected all you have to do is hold down the command key on a Mac or control on a PC and it will turn into that direct selection white arrow and when you click on a point you can move it around separate from the other if it's a corner it will move like this one is if it's a curved line, like this one with the bezier handle sticking out of it, you can also grab those bezier handles and move them with that white tool. So this whole time I've just been holding down my command key. If I hold down my option key and hover over a point, I will actually get the convert point tool. So I could turn this into a corner or again holding down option on a Mac or alt on a PC click and drag to create those bezier corners or bezier handles so command and option are your two main controls with the uh, with the pen tool and then if you hover over you can add and take away different points